Did the devil make you do it? Hi, welcome back to another one of our director's cuts here at Regal Heights. We're glad you've tuned in with us. Uh, another uh, something that hit the cutting room floor on Sunday's message, which I encourage you to listen to, is how, what kind of power does Satan have over people in today's day and age? You know, we talked on Sunday about how God worked uh, with the, uh, the demonic and, and restrained in the Old Testament, in Jesus' ministry, in the New Covenant, in the millennium to come, uh, and then thereafter, right before Christ finishes it all. You might, you might want to check that one out. That's actually pretty cool to see how that works. But for here and today, we wonder about what kind of demonic forces can they, can they do? Can the devil make you do something? And the answer for the Christian is no. Why? Because you cannot be possessed, owned by the devil, if you're owned by God. It's just a simple, uh, it's just a simple ownership paper issue. So if you are owned by God, you have no worry about uh, the devil taking control over all of your faculties. Now, on the flip side, now there's a difference between possession and oppression. Satan is always looking around someone to trip up. In fact, he tries to trip us up on many occasions, and we need to resist him, stop sinning, and follow the Lord. So when we do that, we will be blessed. But it's important for us to see, too, that, uh, that there is oppression out there that's trying to trip us up. It doesn't cause us to mess up. And as we'll have learned from the message, that during the millennium when Satan is fully restrained, people still sin. So it tells us that we have a heart problem of our own and that Satan just eggs that on. Uh, we have learned in numerous scriptures that Satan has possessed some folks, um, but it would appear that these are people who have never believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and agree with everything that is satanic, and they become possessed by him because they are his possession. Thanks be to God, we have the authority and power in Jesus Christ to help preach the word, to help counsel these people, and uh, I pray that the Holy Spirit would deliver these people into the truth. And so with that, we want to make sure that, that Satan does not veil anybody, as we learn in 1 Corinthians 4, to not have um, a veil of disbelief over any of us, that we would disagree with God, but uh, agree with Satan. Let each of us have a believing heart, and that at the preaching of the word of Jesus Christ, the veil is lifted. And I need to make a quick correction. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, that we learned that the veil is removed under the preaching of Jesus Christ. So if you'd like to see the devil gone, don't be looking to become some fancy exorcist. How about let's preach the word of God and lean into his teachings and resist the devil. He will flee from us. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Have a great day.